Well, good morning, Calvary. Uh, thank you for joining us for your word for the day today. We're finishing up looking at our seven measures of a healthy, growing Christian. And I want to recap those seven measures for us. The first is loving. How am I treating others with kindness and respect? Growing. How am I pursuing a deeper relationship with God? Connecting. Who am I getting real with? Forgiving. To whom am I extending grace? Serving. How am I meeting the needs of others? Inviting. Who am I encouraging to follow Jesus? And this week, we'll be looking at giving. How am I trusting God financially? And what we wanted to do as we talked about this last one is talk about some of the, the biblical principles of finances and encourage you to walk in them. So this isn't going to be us asking for your money, but instead asking you to walk in the wisdom of Scripture with your finances. And yesterday we looked at debt and how we're to think about and approach debt. And today I want to talk a little bit about saving. And one of the eye-opening things for me when I went through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University was the understanding that there are different personality types that either create savers or spenders. And nearly everyone in our world falls into one of those two categories. And I am definitely a spender. From the time I was a little kid, I would receive or earn a certain amount of money and my parents would say it would burn a hole in my pocket until I was able to spend it. Immediately I could say, what can I buy with that same sum of money? And it would usually be spent in hours, days at the most, I would find ways to spend it and get rid of that money. See, now as an adult, I understand the importance of not spending every dollar I make and biblically we see this as well. Proverbs 21.20 says this, it says, Precious treasure and oil are in a wise man's dwelling, but a foolish man devours it. What it's saying there is that treasure and oil were the, in the wise man's house because he saved it. He didn't spend or trade all of his treasure. He didn't burn all of the oil for his lamps, but instead he saved some in reserve. And today, possibly more than in previous years, we can very tangibly see the need for us to live on less than we make so that some of our money goes into savings. There's practical wisdom in that and wisdom that comes from God as well. So let me challenge you to make a budget, which is just planning how you'll manage the money that God is trusting you with and make sure that there's savings involved there because only a foolish man devours all he makes. But today I pray that you would find wisdom and live in the principles of God and be prepared for the future by saving and planning for the things that are ahead. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.